Rich. Weather time with Anthony here, and for miles, and another warm one, but uh, you're saying it's going to get a little cooler. It's a very nice day. You know, I was just saying Lisa is finally back with us after a yeah. couple of days off. We thought we better give her some good weather to make really sure she can't nice guy. Guy. Uh, <laughs> do what we can. Here, Thanks, you know? Do that for me when I leave. <laughs> Where are you keep going? That in mind, Kurt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, talk about a beautiful day out there. Sky Camp, take a look outside, though. Gorgeous all day long. Temperatures right now sitting at 80. Four degrees for us. Humidity level is only at 21 uh, percent, which is uh, good. Actually, improving from early in the week when it was really, really dry out there. Temperatures around the rest of Kern County: 60s across the mountains and 60s down to our south as well. There, uh, Los Angeles at 66. Santa Barbara there at 66 degrees as well right now. The big story obviously is the huge drop in temperatures. We're down 11 degrees from Porterville all the way into Tehachapi from where we were yesterday, largely because a lot of cooler air coming in. So that cool down begins today and will continue throughout the rest of the week. We do have a wind advisory in effect for the mountain areas. Keep that in mind if you have to be traveling there all the way through 11 p.m. tonight and those seasonable temperatures will continue. Speaking of that, nationally, as you can see here, temperatures uh, around where they should be for this time of year, a little bit cooler out west, but take a look at how things are really warming up there for the Gulf area. Really high humidity levels down south as well. Temperatures 90 or near the triple digit mark. A lot of active weather going on here as we head toward the midsection of the country. There are severe storms breaking out. Of course, we saw them in the Midwest yesterday going through Illinois and Indiana. And now the next round of systems making their way in. And in fact, we had a tornado touchdown report here uh, just within the last two hours there in the South Dakota area. You'll notice all the green dots here, all your hill report, and also a large amount of wind damage continuing uh, to be a prevalent story. It started out Monday and continues out through today. Something else we've been watching, obviously, is the oil spill going on. Now, obviously, no of the science. Uh, Agency, they're issuing the latest oil spill graphics. I want to show you what's going on with that. Here's the center of where the oil started to spill at, and we've been tracking it day by day as it makes its way here across those Gulf Coast states. You can see uh, definitely expanding out west right now. Look for some more oil heading toward the Louisiana coast and also toward Mississippi and Alabama. Of course, we'll keep you posted on that as we uh, continue to follow that. The other thing we're following is those coastal temperatures out there. Going to be a pretty pleasant day for you tomorrow morning. We will see that marine layer coming in early, so look for some. Foggy conditions there up until about the middle of the day, and then by afternoon, we're talking uh, temperatures very comfortable for us in the 60s. Here's a look at your 10 day forecast out. So, tomorrow we'll be at 89 degrees and we'll stay there through Friday. And then, how about it? Even cooler temperatures on the way there for your weekend 84 Saturday, 86 degrees on Sunday for the valley floor. And the mountain forecast in the 70s for 78 Thursday, down to the lower 70s there by the weekend. Forecast for the Kern Valley at 87 for tomorrow and 82 for Saturday. Once again, a very, very nice weekend and the official last weekend of spring before summer gets going on Monday. All right. Thank you very much, Anthony. When we come back.